Hi, I hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw from the title of this video today, we're gonna to be doing my makeup inventory for the year of 2022. So the plan is to start in January 2022, and then next year, 2023, we're gonna do this again, and we're gonna see if the numbers fluctuated, did they go down, did they go up? And I can tell you for sure, there was a huge uprising in makeup in my collection this year, just from like counting all the numbers, taking all the pictures and stuff i will be including pictures of everything in my collection as well as video of everything so it's gonna be interesting it was a lot of work i hurt my back i didn't hurt my back it's just it was a little sore because of all the pictures and trying to get them all kind of neat and nice looking for you guys so the last time that i did this video was june 27th 2021 so it's been a while i do have a makeup inventory playlist which is going to be linked down below if you want to watch my other ones because the numbers they have definitely went up a lot in the past years because of makeup hauls because of shamase because of shein and the she glam makeup and everything so if you want to see the numbers if you want to see the pictures and the videos of everything in my collection just keep on watching now as for makeup collection videos where i'm actually I'm giving you guys like rapid reviews on everything that's going to be happening later this year so definitely stay tuned subscribe make sure that you um, press the notification bell for everything so you know when everything's coming and with that let's just get into it but before that don't forget if you like drugs and makeup go ahead and stick around subscribe maybe hit the bell so you're notified whenever i upload and if you can like the video if you like it and the video is going to start right now so if you're wondering about today's look i actually just filmed a palette bingo using the romantic beauty dessert cake palette so if you want to watch that that's going to be linked down below if it's up already if not it is coming soon just get into it i think I'm not going to move over because, I don't know, I'm going to put the pictures in the, like, on my face and then video will be scrolling through as we're going on. So let's just start off with brow products. So when I talk about brow products, it's usually including everything from pomade to pencil to powder and to brow sets. So I just group them all together in one section. So the last time that I did this video, I had a total of 21 products in the brow section. This time around, I have 39 products. Now that's including a couple pomades that I just brought in from like Metamorphosis, a lot of brow pencils, including some backups from my AWA Studio Slim Brows from Shamas A. I have a lot of brow products that have accumulated throughout the year of 2021 because of a lot of, again, makeup hauls and trying new brands and stuff. So that's what happened there. I also added a couple like Ioni products because of the 99 cent store adding a lot of new Ioni products. So that is it for brows next we have a face primers so as for face primers i love to collect them because i just like face primers i don't know what it is today i have a, a um, cocktail of three primers on my skin two illuminating primers and one kind of blurring primer in the center of my face so i love mixing my primers to create a nice like primer cocktail for my skin type i do have oily skin so a lot of the primers that i have in my collection are very silicone-y very mattifying primers i have a couple blurring primers and even a couple hydrating illuminating primers which really surprised me because if you were here a couple years ago i wouldn't have had any of those products because i was scared that my skin was going to get a little too oily with those products type of like illuminating situations it didn't really mix i was a little scared of them but i love the just the look of having that radiance under my foundation it just looks really nice so i did go ahead and expand my primer collection i haven't told you guys the numbers but last year i did have a total of 19 primers in total and this time around i have 34 which is getting a little up there but it does tend to accumulate and i don't want any of them to go bad so right now i am having like a little project pan going on which i did update you guys on i believe it was last week so that's going to be down below if you want to know what's going on so i am my intention is to finish up a lot more products this year hopefully it sticks next we're moving on to foundation this part here it honestly didn't really shift all that much last year i had a total 15 foundations and now i have a total of 14 so that's really interesting i definitely was not expecting that next we have concealers i had a total of 10 last year now i have a total of 16 that has definitely gone up not too drastically but it did go up there a little bit next we have eye primers i had five last year now i have a total of 21 
this section went up because I do have a couple of color bases this time around from City Color that they did send my way. So thank you so much to City Color. But it did add to the number going up and I have a couple other eyeshadow primers which I haven't really been into eyeshadow primers this year because I've been using concealers. So we'll see how that goes. Next we have bronzers which I used to have a total of 20 and I have 21. Didn't really go up all that much but I do have quite a bit of bronzers. I'm really surprised that I don't have as many bronzers as like blushes and highlights but here we go. Next we have blushes. So I used to have a total of 30 blushes. Now I have a total of 54. That number definitely went up drastically. I'm not sure where these blushes came from. I have been unboxing uh, mystery boxes. I've been doing a lot of makeup hauls, especially from Shot Miss A. I was going to say She Glam. She Glam and Shot Miss A both have been adding a lot of blushes. And I think 2021 was a huge year for blushes. So a lot of blushes were added to my collection. I love blush. I've always have. Next we have powders. So with powders, I did include loose powders and pressed powders. So I used to have a total of 14 and now I have 19. Didn't really go up all that much. I do have, again, pressed powders and loose powders. I've been really into loose powders as of lately. I went ahead and used one today that's in my project pan. Love them. Next we have face palettes. So when what I categorize face palettes as is a palette that has blushes, highlights, and also bronzer so all three count as a face palette for me not too drastic of a jump there i for one really like face palettes i think they're really easy just to throw on and go especially for that everyday kind of look when i'm going to work and stuff very convenient love face palettes next we have highlighters so for highlighters this was a huge this took forever to kind of set up and take pictures and videos of so for highlights i had 34 and now i have 50 which definitely went up. I added a lot from Chamasse. I went ahead and purchased a bundle of their velour highlights and I have quite a few now in my collection. Some of them work for my skin tone, some of them don't. They're just such a beautiful formula. They're so squishy and stunning on the skin. So I love those. I added a lot of those and a lot from She Glam as well. Next, let's get into liquid shadows. For liquid eyeshadows, I used to have 20. Now I have 21. That one didn't really go up all too much. Next, we have bullet lipsticks. So for bullet lipsticks, I had 21 and now I have 41. So that one did go up quite a bit. So that's also including lippy pencils and any like pencil products as well from Chamisse. I did add quite a few from there and also a lot of bullet lipsticks from Chamisse. I've been purchasing the whole collection, which I think I'm going to stop doing because I don't need every single lip product they're coming out with. I don't need every single like blush and everything. I like to purchase all of them all at once because it's so inexpensive, but it doesn't serve me well because I don't really use bullet lipsticks all that much on myself. So that number went up quite a bit and it also includes lip palettes, which are like lipsticks in little pans. You can mix and match if you want to have three of those as well. We're getting to eyeshadow palettes. Eyeshadow palettes, I had a total of 128 last year. I have a total of 181 this time around. And again, that's not including all of the new palettes that I have and have not mentioned in haul videos. So yeah, that number went up quite a bit. I don't know what to say. I'm just... Mm. That's honestly the one that I was the most scared about learning because that number, it's, uh, it's too much. Setting sprays, I used to have a total of 14 and now I have 18. I think the number is okay. It's definitely something that I go through often. There's one in my project pan. They're really easy to use up before and after makeup or even throughout the day just to refresh my skin. So I'm not really scared or worried about my setting spray number going up. This number, however, for mascaras is a little scary because all of these mascaras are open, or at least most of them are. I used to have 10 mascaras, and this was last year, and now I have a total of 22 open, or most of them are open. 22 mascaras, and I do have quite a few backups of mascaras in my stash that I didn't go ahead and count in this um, situation. But again, 22, most of them open, not great. So what I'm doing is weeding out the mascaras that are drying up 
um, for example, the one I have on today is the Too Faced Zam Girl Mascara, which I'm noticing is kind of getting flaky, which is an indication that it's drying up. I had it for way too long, so that one I'm trying to kind of weed out of my collection. There's another one from Chamisse that I noticed is also getting a little dry, so that's the way that I'm going to bring this number down, but I'm not going to open any more mascaras. Hopefully, because that number is just way too high and it's not good to have that many mascaras open, especially because they only last about six to, what, five months or whatever. Next, we have liquid liners. I used to have 28. Now I have 70. That number definitely jumped. Not sure why. I think most of those liners are from She Glam because I've been trying to find a like perfect, really good liner from them. But I use liquid liner a lot, so I'm not really worried. Today I'm using one from She Glam. That's what I have on the eyes today. Um, so there's a lot of different formulas, and I did notice I have a couple of repeated liners in there as well. So I'm not too worried about that number, but it did go up quite a bit. Pencil liners, we had 12, and it went up to 45. Not sure where all of these pencil liners are coming from. Yeah, but take a look at that picture in the video. I think most of them are from Shamas A, if I'm being honest, because again, it's very affordable. We have lip liners next, which I used to have a total of 30. Now I have 47. I was on the hunt for a perfect brown lip liner. I definitely have found quite a few, so I do have a lot of backups, which is why that number is so high. So I'm not worried about that number either. I use lip liner quite a lot. It's retractable and even sharpenable pencil lip liners because i've just been into them this year like last year and onto this year as well liquid lipsticks i had 76 this year we have a total of 124 liquid lipsticks because of chamisse because of she glam that number has gone up way too high so we're gonna see what we can do about that because that's a lot it's just a lot next we have lip gloss which also had quite a jump we had a total of 55 and now we have 84 definitely went up quite a bit and i really well i i used to be more worried about lip gloss because i didn't use it as often but now as you can see i love lip gloss i use it all the time so i'm not too worried about that number either single shadows i used to have a total of 18 and now i have 35 that one went up quite a bit also from a lot from Chamisse and G Glam and also cream products. I used to have a total of 15 last year and now I have 35. That definitely went up because a lot of people and brands were coming out with cream products last year, 2021. That was a huge thing. So that's why that number went up quite a bit. Last year I didn't count my glitter, but this year I had a total of 13. So those don't really move in my collection. I use them here and there, but that's not something that I'm worried about. Glitter tends to last for a lot of years, so that's it. That's my makeup inventory. Let me know down below if you filmed yours and what your numbers are. I've seen and watched a lot of people upload theirs, and I have to say, we have a lot of makeup. So we're going to see if this year is a year where I can get most of it out of my collection and hopefully stop all of the... Well, not stop completely, but kind of limit spending this year because i have quite a bit of makeup i'm never going to use up all of it and with that we made it to the end i hope you enjoyed watching as much as i enjoyed filming this for you today everything that i talked about other names of the prices are going to be down below as well as any videos that i mentioned throughout this video or videos that i uploaded last week don't forget to upload three times a week on tuesday thursday and sunday so if you could stick around that would be amazing i have my insta handle displayed on the screen i post a lot of makeup finds from jokes to the high end i've also been doing a lot of makeup looks and a lot of makeup pictures so if you like that definitely go follow me over there and it'd be so amazing if you could like and subscribe of course you don't have to you're your own person you make your own decisions but it wouldn't hurt to get this video a like and i'll see you guys on the next one bye